All right, next up we have Camerupt. All right, we're going to be taking a look at some interesting facts about Camerupt, as well as its Mega Evolution, Mega Camerupt. So, there are two forms to cover for. So, for Camerupt's information, his weight is 220.0 kilograms on regular Camerupt and 320.5 kilograms on Mega Camerupt. His height is 1.9 meters for regular Camerupt and 2.5 meters for Mega Camerupt. He is a fire type and a ground type. His abilities are Magma Armor or Solid Rock and Anger Point which is its hidden ability for regular Camerupt and Sheer Force for Mega Camerupt. His catch rate is 150, which is also 29.5%. It evolves from Numal starting at level 33. And also, Camerupt can Mega Evolve into Mega Camerupt using the Camerupt type. So that is pretty fascinating. And for its Pokedex entry, Camerupt has a volcano inside its body. Magma of 18,000 degrees Fahrenheit courses through its body. Occasionally, the humps on this Pokemon's back erupt, spewing the superheated magma. While it looks like you better not get close to Camerupt, or else you will just vanish instantly, just like Macargo's body temperature. Now, when it comes to Camerupt being in the spin off games, he's made two major appearances. In Pokemon Ranger, Tiffany uses two Camerupt in her attempts to stop the player. So it looks like he, she is trying to stop the player so that you don't go any further. But if you somehow manage to take out the uh, Camerupt, then you can proceed. And in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Explorers of Time and Explorers of Darkness, Camerupt is a member of Team Flame. So that is pretty interesting, considering he's a fire type. Now when it comes to Camerupt being in the TV series, he's made three major appearances. So Camerupt made its main series debut in Candid Camerupt, under the ownership of Vicky Winstraight. Vicky used the Eruption Pokemon to battle Ash's Pikachu. Once Pikachu struck Camerupt on the nose with Iron Tail, it went on an eruption rate rampage. Vito's uh, Alakazam used Rain Dance in order to stop Camerupt before it could reach the Windstraight's vegetable patch. So it looks like Camerupt was very, very mad there. And a Camerupt appeared in Lights Camerupt action under the ownership of uh, Elijah. He used it to help carry his filmmaking equipment during his trips to small towns all over Hoenn. So that was pretty cool that it was called Lights Camerupt Action, kind of like a name for camera. And a camera that can mega evolve appeared in Volcanion and the Mechanical Marvel under the control of Levy and Sherry's Mega Wave. Camerupt was used to battle against Ash's Noivern and Greninja. It was later freed from their control when Alpha's Mega Wave Crystal was destroyed, and it escaped. So, it looks like Camerupt had some really awesome strength there, and it looks like you do not want to mess with him. Alright, so here is Camerupt's Shiny Form. So for his Shiny Form, for both the regular and the Mega, they turn a black color instead of an orange color, which is uh, pretty awesome since it does a great job representing the fire type. And here are the QR codes if you ever want to register them into Pokemon Sun and Moon or Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Oh, and here are some other facts that you didn't know about Camerupt, is that Camerupt's Pokedex entries for Emerald, Heart Gold, and Soul Silver say that the volcanoes on its back erupt every 10 years. However, its entries from Sapphire, Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Alpha Sapphire as well as dialogue from the Mystery Dungeon series, claim that they erupt whenever it is angry, which is also shown in the anime, which actually makes perfect sense since you don't want to mess with Camerupt. And Camerupt's evolutionary line can be seen as a parallel to Sharpedo's family. Both of them are dual-type Pokémon. Both lines have identical base stat totals per evolutionary stage. 
Both of their final evolutions are used by Team Magma leader Maxi and Team Aqua leader Archie, respectively, and both of their final evolutions can Mega Evolve, which is pretty awesome, and Mega Camerupt is tied with Slugma, Torkoal, and Litwick for the lowest base speed stat of all Fire-type Pokémon, and is tied with Mega Sableye for the lowest speed of all Mega Evolutions. I guess that explains that Camerupt is a very slow fighter. And Mega Camerupt has the highest special attack stat of all non-legendary ground-type Pokémon. Wow, it looks like Camerupt may be slow, but he's very strong, and he has some great facts after all. Way to go, Camerupt! And there you guys have it, those are some interesting facts for the whole Camera Up Devolution line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the bell for notifications, check out my gaming videos, and also don't forget to check out Pokemon Plush Toy videos, Super Mario Plush Adventures, Kirby Plush Adventures, and Sonic Plush Adventures, and request me some more videos that you would like to see in the future. So until next time, keep on smashing! It looks like I'm about to erupt if you don't hit that like and subscribe button.